What up guys and fellow lovers of the Kibi world? Welcome to another Redstone tutorial with me, Giorgio. Since the 1.17 update of Minecraft came out, we have the possibility of farming shulkers. Something that was impossible before, and that I am still so happy that they decided to add it to the game. Because shulker boxes are super useful, not only to increase the amount of storage that we have, but also to easily transport huge amounts of items in just one go. And they are customizable even because we can dye them. So, for those reasons, I decided to make a shulker loader that is only one block wide and that it can be infinitely tellable. Super simple contraption, I even feel like I could end the video right there, right here. But now, let's do a, a very short tutorial on how to build it where I also explain to you exactly how it works. So, first decide where your barrel is gonna be. Mine is gonna be right there. Now I say barrel because we can fit 27 shulker boxes inside of a barrel. That is 27 times the space that we had before. Way over 45,000 items. Enough storage if you ask me. But of course that is only if the items are stackable to 64. So if you, for whatever reason, need more than one barrel, or more than a double chest, because you can also use uh, a double chest instead of the barrel, then you can do this. A hopper on top of another hopper, both pointing to their respective uh, storage units. Have this in mind though, you're going to have to add another hopper uh, behind your top one. This is because we need a comparator reading um, from the top hopper. For now, I'm just gonna use a single barrel. After you place your comparator, come up and place an observer facing up. This observer is going to give a redstone signal to a dispenser also facing up. This dispenser is the one that will replace the full shulker box with an empty one. Now let's also extend this hopper line so that they can uh, catch the shulker box. Next thing we need to do is of course to read the shulker box to see how full it is. Uh, we'll, we'll do that with a comparator. And since we only want to get a signal whenever the shulker box is full, we're going to add a, a block and a redstone block, both with a redstone dust on top of them. What this does is set this redstone dust to a 14 level signal, and we're going to read it with an observer, because the only way that this uh, redstone dust can change is to turn from 14 to 15, and that is only uh, achieved when the shulker box is full. The comparator uh, gives a, a 15 signal out and well that redstone dust changes. Now we need a way of fitting items to this shulker box so we're gonna do that from the top with a hopper of course pointing downwards. Uh, we're gonna then need a way to break the shulker box so a piston facing that way should do the trick and we're gonna power that piston by taking the comparator uh, signal out from this side to this side. We're gonna do that with an observer reading that hopper, a block to power the piston and a no block to update it and tell it, telling it that it is powered. Now the way this works is whenever that redstone signal changes to 15, this observer reads it and powers the hopper. It briefly powers the hopper, but for that brief second of that the that the hopper is powered, this observer can detect it. And well, of course, it sends a signal to this block, which powers the pis this piston and pushes, well, breaks the shulker box and pushes it over to the comparator. We can see that in action if we quickly break and replace this resin dust, just like so. The piston broke it, and now we see the shulker box down here. Let's replace that real quick. There we go. Last thing we need to do is to place a line of hoppers um, back here. Three are enough for now. And this, what, we'll, what this will do is refill the dispenser with much more shulker boxes. Now we can have this dispenser filled up, but also we can have all these hoppers filled up. And you can extend this line uh, to whatever length you need and even hook it up to a shulker box distribution system of your choice. And like so, the system is complete. Was It was easy, right? 
So if we grabbed a shulker box and we almost fill it completely with items, let's leave one um, out. So if we're gonna place there, place it there. Now the comparator, you see, it lights up because it gets the signal from the from the shulker box, but it's not updating these reds and dust because it's not completely full. So if we toss the last item in the uh, hopper, yeah, you see, the comparator uh, detects that the shulker box is full. It sends a signal, changes the sh the reds and dust level of uh, power. And then the observer detects it, of course fires the piston, and the full shulker box ends up here inside of the barrel. Now you can of course stack together as many shulker box loaders as you want, and they should all work alone separately without any problem. Yeah, if I had remembered to place more shulker boxes <laughs> inside of the dispensers, but as you can see, the first one is uh, already there, and all of these shulker boxes are each on their corresponding barrel, which is pretty cool, pretty amazing, isn't it? Now you can hook it, hook this up with, uh, for example, an item sorter that is coming out from a farm. You you would just need to build the item sorter uh, right on top of these hoppers, and you can hook this up to a distribution. A system of shulker boxes, like for example, a minecart running back and forth, uh, replenishing all these hoppers with shulker boxes, or just a line of hoppers that will fill up these three hoppers, and then the next three hoppers, and then the next three hoppers. Whatever you wish, it will work, I assure you. And of course, I forgot to show you the materials that you need for each of these modules. They're pretty cheap, so uh, just three blocks, any blocks will do. As long as they are, of course, solid blocks, if you use glass, they won't work. Uh, these blocks are for this, this, and the one that is below that comparator. You need six hoppers, you need two comparators, three observers, two redstone dusts, one block of redstone, uh, one dispenser, one piston, one note block, and of course your barrel or your storage uh, uh, unit. If you want more barrels or more double chests or more chests, you are going to, of course, add, have to add uh, the extra number of barrels that you're going you're gonna to need and the same extra number of hoppers. And it will look something like this. Anyways, that's all for the tutorial, guys. It's a pretty, pretty small contraption and it was a pretty small tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, of course, you know what to do. And as always, I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!